Bucks this week, but where has he been? And is this year's squad the shakiest Tampa team he's had so far? Plus, the Giants were in action last night. That meant another look at Daniel Jones. We'll tell you why this is a huge year for the former first-round pick. And Aaron Rodgers got some really good news this weekend. Are the Packers getting healthy at just the right time? Welcome to Get Up. I am Dan Graziano in for Greeny. I'm by myself in the studio, but I got friends joining me. Look at this group on a Monday morning. Sam Acho, Kimberly Martin, the big swagoo. Let's get this whole thing started with our game of the night. That is Daniel Jones getting the start for the Giants as they take on the Bengals in week two of the preseason. First possession for the Giants. They're going for it on fourth and one. Just beyond midfield, but Antonio Williams is tackled near the line to gain. You see he's short. Brian Dayball is unhappy about it. Giants turn the ball over on downs. Next possession, second and four. The Bengals 44. Jones looking for tight end Daniel Bellinger, but he can't hang on to the ball. And Daxton Hill comes up with the interception. That's the rookie, the first round pick. Jones is annoyed. He's like, man, I'm trying to get a new deal here. What are you doing? Later in the quarter, he's looking to bounce back. Jones lost the pass. David Sills snags the ball off his back shoulder. Giants get 20 yards on the play. A few plays later, it's the second quarter now. Jones under pressure, gets the throw off quickly. Lasers one to Sills again. Giants are moving the chains. Very next play, Jones finds Williams. He turns up field. He takes it 12 yards. They're knocking on the door. They're moving the ball. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Deshaun Corbett punches it in for a touchdown. Saquon Barkley watching from the sidelines. He loves it. Jones. 14 for 16, Giants win, who cares? Here's Brian Dayball on Jones. We're still building that process, that relationship, and I love the kid um, of, of figuring out exactly, you know, what we're gonna try to be. All right, so it's preseason, right? We have Giants win the game, who cares? But, but Daniel Jones and the way he played is the story here for the Giants. So, Swagoo, Marcus Spears, what was your single biggest takeaway from Daniel Jones' performance last night? Yeah, I think last night, DJ, he looked decisive. Um, that's what you want to see from Daniel Jones. The one over route to Colin Johnson that was almost picked, you'd like to uh, see that be placed a little bit, layer it a little bit like we saw Trevor Lawrence do. But outside of that, I thought it was a, a real solid performance. Now, granted, Let's take into account that that wasn't the starters against the Cincinnati Bengals and all of the things that come along with that. But on on his checkdowns, he looked con, uh, concise. On when he had to make some tough throws, obviously the over route he threw. I mean the back shoulder he threw the seals was a really good pass as well. Those are that's progress. Those are the things that you want to see from Daniel Jones. But the question about Daniel Jones is not mm -hmm. does he have talent. It's not about his arm Marcus. strength. It's not about his athleticism. I can't it's hear about how he else performs. I can't hear him. So, Sacho, <laughs> let's go to you. Me. Let me, you finish, think, uh, let me finish, let me finish Swagoo's sentence, because Swagoo was 100% yeah, on go. point. He's having the mic. Swagoo, I got you. Daniel Jones was outstanding. He was phenomenal. And, yes, even though it was the second team defense, you wanted to see what you saw, a smooth operation, right? Like I saw an 11-play drive for 84 yards. I saw eight straight completions, even those two incompletions for the entirety of the game, one of them on that over route. Really, you could call it a drop, Like right? That was a drop. And so, for me, uh, this is exactly what you would hope from the Brian Dayball and Daniel Jones combination. You want him to have a smooth operation, calm in the pocket. I was most excited, honestly, about him taking those checkdowns, as Swagoo said. Yes, go for the big play, but if you don't have it, take the checkdown. Kimberly, year four for Daniel Jones in New York. They didn't pick up the fifth-year option for next year. So what is at stake for Daniel Jones this season with a new coaching staff in New York? Guys, I think you just laid it out perfectly. Everything is on the line for Daniel Jones. I think, honestly, I think Daniel Jones is the QB under the most pressure of anybody, even more than Carson Wentz, uh, because this front office owes him nothing. This front office didn't decline to pick up his fifth-year option. The only person in this building who has ties to to Daniel Jones is John Mara, the owner, and this entire season. Whatever happens, regardless of record, the Giants just need to know, without a shadow of a doubt, is Daniel Jones our future or is he not? Because this new head coach, you know, this new GM, they aren't tied to him. And, and I hear Acho using words like phenomenal. Like, I think, okay, let, let's settle down a bit. 
Like, he looked good against the Cincinnati backups. Like, let's just take it down a notch. This was a good next step for Daniel Jones, but the pressure is in extremely high this season because he's on a short leash. He's going to have, hopefully, if he plays well, 17 games to save his career in New York. I'm told that we have uh, Mark. I guess we're not so being Mark, nice You were anymore. saying you were impressed last night. What do you expect from Daniel Jones this season? It, wait and see. <laughs> we still uh, got I, I <laughs> Sacho, what do you expect from Daniel I, 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 Jones I, 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 this I, 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 season? So do the next little quiz. Hey, Daniel Jones got to ball out this year. Can you impersonate Swaggoo? Daniel Jones going to go crazy? No, I mean, like, in all reality, like, yeah, Kmart yeah. has a point. <laughs> Swaggoo, I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping I'm reading your yeah, mind. Yeah. Um, yes, I said phenomenal outstanding. Yes, it was a second team defense. But at the same time, we put a lot of pressure on other people. Oh, it's a preseason. And Kenny Pickett looked great. All these people look great. At the end of the day, you want to look good with the opportunities that you're given. He was given an opportunity, and he looked good with that opportunity, number one. Number two, yes, um, only the owner is tied to you. That's a good person to be tied to you, if I, if I do say so myself. And number three, Brian Dable. I played with him in, in, in Buffalo. He is an outstanding coach, and he wants to see Daniel Jones succeed. Of course, every coach does, but you heard what Brian Dable said. He didn't say this is the best performance ever. He said, hey, he's getting better. He's learning our system. We're learning what he likes, and we're going to put that out on the field for the world. So he didn't see. say phenomenal, is what you're saying. He didn't Dable say phenomenal. Didn't say phenomenal no. He didn't say phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> but he sees even more than I see. <laughs> Look, there was one. There was there was a non-Daniel Jones event in that game last night of note. Uh, Kimberly, I want to know what you can tell us about Kayvon Thibodeau, the Giants' first-round pick, took a took a hard hit uh, to the knee and left the game. Uh, what more can you tell us, Kimberly? Yeah, Dan, this this was scary to see a cart come out in the preseason for your fifth overall pick to see his leg bend like that. Giants fans gasping. This, he's the bright spot, right? Um, this morning is critical. This is a huge morning because the Giants will get, you know, they'll get MRI results um, this morning, additional tests. Kayvon Thibodeau, he told reporters, I'm good. He said he had already gotten some good news last night, which is encouraging. But head coach Brian Dable, you know, he was a little cautious last night, too, when talking to reporters. Yes, he's hopeful, but until these tests this morning come back and show that Kayvon Thibodeau is okay, that, that's the moment when Giants fans can actually exhale a little bit. All right, Giants hoping for more good news this morning on uh, their exciting <laughs> first round. Swagoo's still trying to talk. Swagoo, we still Pass hear you. Rusher, and <laughs> we're hoping for good news on Swagoo's connection at some point. We but, need an uh, MRI I can't on that. promise yes. uh, anything. To Tampa now, where Tom Brady is set to come back to the Bucs early this week. He's been away from the team since August 11th for personal reasons, uh, but is expected back this week. Speaking of Tampa, sneaky big news for the Buccaneers, losing guard Aaron Stinney for the season to a torn ACL and MCL. Stinney was battling for the starting left guard spot, and... and uh, this is this is not new for the Bucks, right? I mean, they're down. Their center got hurt early in camp. 